Hello, it's Sarah. Um, I wanted to talk about card making a little bit because I'm going to be making some envelope cards. I haven't been making cards in a while. Um, when I've only been at this scrapbooking type altering, whatever it's called, this paper crafts that we do. Um, I don't know. I want to say a year, if that. Um, and it all started with YouTube. I found YouTube and just was amazed at everything I could learn and just went crazy. Um, anyway, so getting back to carts. Uh, I didn't have a lot of supplies in the beginning, just like everybody probably. And so you start with the paper. And then you get punches and dies. So this card right here, I did basically just using a, a, a Kang and Company paper, some ribbon and some punches and some flowers and just put that together. Um, I wanted to tell you about um, a couple of people though that really help. If you wanna learn how to make cards, I love Prairie Paper and Ink. Um, I don't know if she's been uh, doing much lately because I know she's pregnant. Um, Christina Werner is wonderful. Jennifer McGuire. Darlene DeVries has a blog and she's so good. Um, Shari Carroll, of course, and most of these people I got from Simon Says Stamps because they um, promote their products and stuff. I know Christina Werner designs for them. She designs stamps for them um, and dyes and everything. Another big one that I love is, because I love their stamps, Lawn Fawn. And I don't know, everybody's probably... These polymer photopolymer stamps, they're clear stamps, are so easy to work with. Um, you get a clear, concise stamp pretty much every time. I don't know if concise is the right word. Um, there's a glare. Um, and their YouTube channel, the Lawn Fawn YouTube channel, has great tutorials too. So, I mean, I have a ton of Lawn Fawn cards here somewhere. I had a stack of them. Um, because they tell you how to paper piece. And so these are, these are some of my Lawn Fawn cards. This is just with a little, I don't even have it over here. It's a small um, stamp set, Bon Voyage. And I just use an embossing folder to make the cloud background and a plane. And I put it up on... Um, dimensional so that's that card then this is made with critters a critters stamp set this one with the suns I mean this is I'm sorry the sun the clouds is what I mean you are my sunshine I just fussy cut out all these different um, elements in the stamp set um, and make a card with that and then I did the same thing here with uh, paper piecing so I stamped it onto different colored papers and made this one that says reach for the sky um, another one that I paper pieced with different color papers. Here's a Halloween set that was really fun to make. And I think Christina Werner did a tutor tutorial on this very thing. Um, because I really have a hard time with coming up with my own ideas. So I copy a lot. So, um, I have to give credit where credit's due, but, um, they teach you so much and these are all stamps from the stamp set this little fence she tells you how to turn it so it like goes on a, you know on a curve and you um what's it called glossy accent the windows and stuff so that's a Halloween one and then more paper piecing I was into the paper piecing look at this one there's no place like home and all these little parts are paper piece so that's a lot of cutting but I mean <laughs> it's fun I like doing that so um, then, oops, sorry about that, <laughs> whoopsie, then I got into the Christmas ones, actually this is a Christina Werner stamp set, she uh, designed this, I think these are animals in her life, um, and then she created this little window, like they're looking out um, at the snow, or I don't know, but I, I used the supplies that I had, and it was based on her, her tutorial, but so cute. Um, okay, so now we're back to the Lawn Fawn ones. This is a Lawn Fawn stamp set. Um, just go to their website. Oh, here it is right here. There's Christmas ones. Um, I can't tell what it's called from that angle, but anyway. And then I glossy accent and use stickles and I fussy cut stuff and it's just too cute. 
I prefer making my, now look at this one, have a sweet holiday. This is all fussy cut and the, um, I colored it with my Copics and put glossy accents on certain things and use stickles for the snow and oh my god so cute this is paper I think it's um what kind of paper pads are they it's the uh I know I know I should know these things by heart lost and found I think they're lost and found I do a lot of those is it called lost and found I don't know what it's called hold on these paper pads oh my mind's eye Sorry. Anyway, so that's that one. And then with the um, lawn fawn stamps, look at these. I got into shaker cards. Now there's a couple good tutorials. Um, lawn fawn has one on their YouTube channel for um, shaker cards. So this is just like uh, ace tape on top and you put like the little, these are the big um, glitters that you can get from Martha Stewart. And it says, you're so charming. How cute with the little frog. I mean, that's just from one stamp set with the, I think it's the Critters. Um, it's a Fantasy Critters one. I can't find it. I'm, I think my battery's going to die. That's why I'm like panicking and knocking everything over. Um, this is it. Critters Ever After. So cute. So anyway, so I mean, and this actually, I think this was a tutorial that I totally saw. I mean, because you take the stars that are in this set. There's stars here and here, and you just stamp them all across like that and put stickles on it. And I mean, I did not think of this. I'm sorry. I, I hate to tell you. I did not <laughs> think of it. I, I didn't even put anything inside, but I just put little stars. Aren't they adorable? And then this one is very similar. May your dreams come true. I just changed the saying and did it again. And I, I give those to my granddaughter to take to birthdays for her birthday cards to give to um, her little friends. And then this is a Stampendous stamp, I'm pretty sure. I love this. It was a Valentine's last year. And I just used the um, Lawn Fawn Be Mine stamp set to make this little part. And then colored those two little guys and made a shaker card with that for Valentine's Day. And then I did it in pink and black too. Let's see what this one is. Let's chill. I put a lot of glitter in that one, but so cute. And I just embossed some like snowflake paper. This one, you're so cool. Look how cute. But that's because I got that from this. And, and I'm telling you, these are all on YouTube. If you want to find shaker cards and stuff, maybe not this exact one because this is a lawn fawn set. But you're so cool. Isn't that so cute? And look at these. These are snow globe cards. So this is the Lawn Fawn stamps, the little um, polar bear and the igloo. You're so cool, but it looks like a snow globe. And you just use your die, your round, your circle die, and cut this ace tape. And then I think this is um, stays on white or some. I forget. I I apologize. I don't. I haven't. I don't have a good memory for like. I mean, I use it and I put it down, and I just don't remember the names of things. But here's the little penguins. So cute, and a seal. You're so cool again. So anyway, um, I did want to mention um, these two. These are, uh, it's getting, I'm running out of time. These are the Seal with a Kiss stamps by uh, Stampworks. I can't think, Stamper's Best? No, anyway. But I think I'm going to be working on some stamps. I mean, my cards, I might use those for my um, paper bag cards that I'm going to make. Um, Here's another one, Spread Your Wings. She's just a little, I think that's a Stampendous stamp too. And then these, I got a little grunge with these. I, I got my Tim Holtz stamps and started playing with them and made a Valentine's grunge Valentine's card. So anyway, we're nine minutes. All right, I just wanted to share, hopefully I'll have some uh, paper bags cards made for you and I'm going to share those. All right, guys, make some cards. Have a great day. Bye-bye.